Okay. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm done. I think I'm done. It's just been frustrating and infuriating and I haven't known what to do. And I still kind of don't know what I'm going to do. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do a lot of backpacking videos. I do a lot of reviews of the gear I use on said backpacking videos. So if you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. My name's Rob Pelton. So what am I talking about? I am talking about an issue that I've been dealing with the last few years that I've been fighting and fighting and fighting and it's been driving me crazy and infuriating me because it's been taking me off trail. Here's the issue. Footwear. My last few trips over the last few years, my feet have been getting destroyed, okay? As I started backpacking, I started just like everyone else. You know, I had the big boots, the big heavy pack, you know, uh, struggling to try to get that down trail and e eventually doing shorter miles because of weight. But as I kept backpacking, my systems and pack loadouts and everything started progressing and evol evolving. And now my pack weight, most of the time for my backpack, fully loaded, is like like 25 pounds, sometimes a little lighter than that, which is which is pretty good. And I've also graduated to like lightweight trail shoes, you know, cause these things are light and they dry fast and they're quick and they're nimble. So in all sense of the word, lightweight, I'm a lightweight hiker, but there's one biggish problem. I'm not a lightweight person. I'm five foot eight, 210 to 215 pounds. That really depends on pre or post poop. And that in itself is a lot of weight. So you add a 25 pound pack to me, and now this whole package, this whole sexy package is 240 pounds, which is a lot for these lightweight hiking kind of shoes. I mean, these things are just screaming because I'm putting so much weight on these. I mean, these aren't Atlas boots. I've never had blisters with boots. These boots. I've had tons of issues with lightweight hiking shoes and I've used a lot of them. Here's a few of them. And they're all sleek, they're light, they're sexy. They say one pound on your foot is equal to five pounds on your back. Why is that? Basically, with every step that you take, one billion of them, it is much easier for your body to lift up this six ounce shoe than it is to lift this one pound boot repeatedly. So therefore it wears on your body a little bit more. However, my experience has been blisters, sore ankles, sore balls, everything. So there's so many things that I love about these lightweight hiking shoes except for the fact they've taken me off trail more than I care to mention. There's actually a lot of video evidence of how many times I've been taken off trail. Just look at some of my videos or ask Jeremy from Midwest Backpacker. He's not shy to tell you. So now I'm looking at boots and I've been researching boots, Hoka, Solomon, you know, Ultra even, and I didn't like any of them. They were either too clunky or too heavy or just weren't comfortable. And then I went back to what my tried and true boots were. And they were the Keens, the Durand from Keen. Now these pair is the second pair of Keen Durands I have owned. The first pair exactly like this. I hiked all up and down the Himalayas for like three months, never had a blister. When I retired those, I bought these, hiked all over the place, never had a blister. Yeah, they're heavy and they're chunky and they're overbuilt. So I figured, you know, let's jump into the lightweight game and I've been paying for it ever since. So now I'm looking at boots and I have come to the conclusion and a decision of the boot that I have right here. I ordered them from REI. I actually went into the store, tried them on. I have found that I need a half size bigger than my old pair. 
because for some of you, you may not know, the more you hike, you know, uh, throughout the course of your life, your feet actually grow from the constant pounding and the constant extra weight, your feet get bigger. These are size 10s and my toes go right to the tip of these boots, especially going downhill, my toes just keep tapping the tip of these boots and that leads to problems, especially on long trails. So when I went into REI, I tried these boots on, these were the perfect size, 10 and a halfs. Went home, molded over a little bit, did some more research. I found zero reviews on this boots, so that means I'm gonna have to do it. But the Keen that I'm talking about are the Keen Durand Evos. What's the difference? I don't know, I don't know everything. What I do know is they only come in one color, this black. I'm not a big fan of black boots, but take what you can get. But it does have this flexible rubberish section towards the toes. It's that flex point, you know, where you're doing that over and over again. It's supposed to help with that, that foot roll and help uh, relieve any pinching right here. And they were very comfortable when I wore them. They do make a Durand like this too. It's called the Keen Durand 2. And those new ones had very, non-favorable reviews compared to these. So I decided to give these a shot. I tried them on, I walked around the whole store and they were comfy. My toes didn't ram into the tips. And here we are. Now granted, these boots are heavy. They're a pound a piece. They're overbuilt. But I think a person my size and weight needs an overbuilt pair of footwear. And here we are. I have a trip coming up in a couple weeks. Going to Colorado, I'm gonna hike up and down mountains again. Probably gonna breathe and struggle to stay alive, but that's the goal and I need to sort out my feet before I get there. So I've been doing training hikes. These are gonna go on my feet starting tomorrow and I'm gonna start uh, hiking in these because you really need to uh, break in your boots, any footwear before you go on longer hikes. So I'm, I'm excited but not excited to get back into the boot game. I'm excited because like I said, I haven't had any feet problems in boots and I hope these will continue. I'm not excited about being back in boots. They're heavy, they're a little clunkier, they're not as streamlined as these. And quite frankly, I don't feel as cool in boots as I do with these. But the fact of the matter is, is you know, it's not a party until I get there usually. So, you know, I don't think I gotta worry that much about it. How is your footwear journey? What have you been using? Are you a heavy person like me and have been fighting this battle? Let me know your experiences. What have you found that's been working? Yes, can I lose 40 pounds? Yes, I can. I'm working on it. I've been working on it for like 30 years and I continue to work on it. Back off! But that is the plan. If you have any questions for me, leave those questions, leave those comments down in the comment area below. I love reading your comments. It lets me know that you're actually paying attention. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you don't miss any of the videos that I've dropped. Uh, I've been a little lax on my video production lately and I've used this reason before. Work is killing me. I would love to get out of that role and just hike and be outdoors full time and bringing you more content. Uh, so, you know, if you feel like sending me a million dollars, just do that and I can make that happen for you. Anyways, I'm gonna stop babbling. Just make sure you get out on trail. Get your footwear sorted out. Get some miles in. Enjoy this big, beautiful world that I love so much. And we'll see you on the next one. That was a lot of talking. That was a lot of talking.